tell you they're in the boot now. You can see the start marshal poised. Hopefully we won't be seeing them wave that false start flag and we will be good for a go this time around. And it that is called good. good. Lucas Ellingham leads them away on to the first lap of our trophy final in X30 Junior. Lorenzo Cordal is in second place there and is challenging immediately for the lead but Lucas Ellingham is wise to it we've seen this rivalry all day long as they go two abreast three abreast even I think in some places four abreast through Christmas corner again Ellingham goes defensive against Cordal but he's got to be careful not to defend too hard because that's going to allow the likes of Algieri and Kamata in on the fight as they stream through Wilkins and down into Ozias Cordell leaves the door oh, open now he unlucky. was trying to open that up and get yeah. the late apex to set himself up for a move but in doing so he's allowed Olivier Algieri to sneak back through that's what happens sometimes Dan Olivier Algieri in second place number 238 good opportunity there I don't know perhaps Cordell didn't realize he was so close as they go through on the first lap so Ellingham leads Algieri in second Cordell third Johnson fourth Finley Harrison in fifth uh, we saw Milo Pilfold drift wide on Oblivion on the first lap, drops down a few positions. And in these very early stages, turning into a three-way fight here. Ellingham trying to lead from the front here, but Algieri in second looking threatening. And Lorenzo Cordell has not thrown in the towel in third position. Yeah, and Alex Johnston in fourth. How much? I feel like I'm having deja vu here. Wasn't he defending fourth like crazy in one of the heats earlier as well? He did. He did do a lot of good racing to get to uh, where he is right now. But here for the lead of the race down the inside of Lucas Ellingham goes Olivier Algieri. Beautiful move under braking. Still haven't seen too many moves done there, really. Not really, it no. It tends to be more in the second part of the boot where you shoot for a, a gap there. But oh, again, again, in oblivion, it's just it's just a convention of unusual places to overtake. Into oblivion, Lucas Ellingham gets the job done. Look out for Lorenzo Cordal. Does he want to work with Algieri? He's happy to do so for now. So, yeah. Finley think, Harrison um, chasing Alex Johnston for four further back. That was the... Oh, oh was Cordell's the, round! No, that's 33, uh, oh, sorry. That's, uh, oh, it was close there. Well, that's, that's Macy, Macy Hitter. Hitter. It was in 10. Apologies in the light. That was... Uh, that was Easily done in the low light, isn't it? faux drama from me there. That <laughs> was, uh, that was uh, not... Uh, although, for Macy Hitter, that is a big blow. She was driving I well. I noticed Algieri going up to Christmas again, just beckoning on Cordell, just trying to put a halt on any sort of battles here, just for these three to try and break away. This time... Algeri looks like he's going to have a look here at Ellingham as we go through uh, Oblivion once again. Algeri with a nice line out of the corner and again just opts to stay behind for the time being. And here down the inside of Alex Johnston now goes Finley Harrison. As that's a drama there for Jude Fernerhoff. Three, I think, yep. Yeah. Uh, and that's from quite high up as well. So Jude Fernerhoff there was running in sixth. Will run no more in the uh, boot there. There'll be yellow flags there this time through. Luckily, Furnoff, the master, done a great job of dragging that cart off the track in time. So I think we may well have a clear track now. Yep. Here they go through boots, and it's still Ellingham leads. There's Algeria in second place around the final corner. They go down the Star Straight. Ellingham just trying to get the uh, slipstream down, trying to pull away as best he can from Algeria. And Olivier Algeria again just asking uh, Cordell just to push along a bit there as the battle rages behind him is that it's Christian eight? Brooks on Christian Alex Brooks. Johnston and it's allowed uh, okay I'm, uh, it's not Jude Fernerhoff who was at the side of the road uh, it's Benedict, Benedict Davis, Davis who was at the side of the road apologies we misread the 53 as the 63 Jude Fernerhoff is very much still there battling away with Christian Brooks so apologies fans of Jude Fernerhoff he's still very much in this battle we're still looking at Luke Sellingham versus Olivier Algieri versus Lorenzo Cordal at the front but look out for Finley Harrison winner of one of the heats of course now in clean air in fourth place and we'll be looking to catch up to this top three and look out for Christian Brooks who is matching the leaders or was matching the leaders with pace Finley Harrison is looking good as well Christian Brooks having to battle through the field somewhat and we're looking now as we mentioned of course Finley Harrison fourth position dragging along Christian Brooks so this three-way battle is still a three-way battle but fourth and fifth positions are closing up very strongly indeed and this could be the moment here where Algieri and Cordell second and third would be looking to try and make a move here Allingham leading from the front but again we just saw Cordell checking his shoulder there might be aware we'll have a look when the camera pans out in a moment I think Harrison and Brooks really starting to close up here absolutely still not at the halfway stage yes in this final plenty of action still to come 
Lucas Ellingham, your leader. Olivier Algieri there in the 238 car, and the number 20 of Lorenzo Cordal with Finley Harrison closing ev little by little every lap. Another fastest lap, incidentally, for Finley Harrison. Yeah, good point. He's definitely bringing himself into this one. Scott Smith versus Remy Gilbert has gone away of Scott Smith over 19th place. Um, and I should say, oh, there's just been a contact warning for Zaki Hussein. That's a driver who has had some good pace today, Chris. So slightly further down the order than perhaps we would expect to see, but he's going to have to be careful that he doesn't attract the attention of race control for the wrong reasons any further in this one. That group about 10 seconds down on the drivers who are concentrating on here, the leaders as they go through, and again, Finley Harrison looks threatening. He's not set the fastest lap this time, but pretty much matching his pace. As we look again at Ellingham, still leading us 44 hits trouble that's one of the drivers on the edge of the was on the edge of the top 10 daniel hackett dropping down the field out of the race at boot and the marshal doing a good job they hope they'll clear that cart before the leaders come through where it does look like the driver's perfectly okay and the marshals looking to try and get that cart out of the way the leaders are coming round to that stricken cart and they very quickly boot it out of the way for want of a better phrase as ellingham goes through Marshals have cleared the track. It's like a magic trick, isn't it? I'll make a cart vanish for you. We saw that just seconds before, and there was a cart in the middle yeah. of the road, and uh, I couldn't even see it at the side of the road then, to be honest. So great job again by our marshals here. Uh, Wilton Mill, Lucas Ellingham still under pressure and absorbing it like a sponge so far, it has to be said. He's really controlling this one so far. This is a finely poised race as they go down. Nobody really gambling on a, a brave move into Christmas or into Ashby still finally poised Algeri really hustling that race leader Ellingham Olivier Algeri in second place Lorenzo Cordell just watching in third Finley Harrison pushing 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 all the time there the number 98 to try and get involved in this one as Vinnie Lloyd Chamberlain gets a warning a bit further down the field Algeri looks quick in the centre of the track really does hustle Ellingham who then pulls away up this section of the track now absolutely on to lap number 10 they go and we're getting to the point now where they're going to start thinking okay okay where am i going to go for this move where am i strong where am i weak? they'll be thinking exactly as you just were chris analyzing where they're particularly strong in the lap if they're lucky where they're strong here we will go be again. take an opportunity here we go algeri down the inside of wilkins beautifully judged move and coming back immediately here is lucas ellingham and now is the time that lorenzo cordell starts not literally rubbing his hands with me keep two hands on the steering wheel but you get my the, the gist um, i think cordell's aware that somebody's closing behind he is a though yeah flag. yeah or well, look at uh, finley harrison right on the tail now yeah four cart battle for the lead that is a cart out of position ahead of them and don't count out Christian Brooks and Jude Fernhoff yeah, as well, working as well. together here. They haven't been battling, they've been working together, such that if this opportunity opened up, they could strike over a minute left on the clock. So I think we're on the anti-penultimate lap here. Two more after this one that they're on. The problem here for Algieri is going to be decisive now because he made the pass on the previous lap. Oh, it was a battle of the third, Yeah, wasn't Harrison it? struck. Harrison has struck on Cordell. Oh, he went down the inside of Ashby. Again. And Finley Harrison has got himself into third place. The problem here, Algieri, he showed his hand there, made that pass coming out of Ashby. Now, that will have warned Elegam that's a weak point that he's got to defend, possibly. So, uh, possibly Algieri not making that move stick could have done himself a bit of a disadvantage there. there go, then. Oh, that's just the 44, I think, the driver was off the track, Daniel Hackett, who's effectively out of the race but still circulating to get some points. He is indeed. As going defensive this time is Lucas Ellingham, and it's so close between himself and Algieri there, but well defended by Lucas Ellingham. He did a tech, we keep talking about a textbook pass. Here he is doing textbook defending, and it's brilliant, brilliant stuff so at good. the moment. He'll be hoping that the driver ahead has heeded those blue flags. As uh, now, look at this uh, going defensive and attacking is Algieri now because Finley Harrison is now right back onto him. Harrison's right in there, isn't he? Oh, down the inside of Algieri. Oh, oh it's nearly. not on there, but it's going to allow Luke Sellingham to get a little bit of breathing space, if at all. And Christian Brooks and Jude Fernhoff are on the scene now. It's six carts at the head of this field. On to the last lap. Who's going to win this one? Lucas Ellingham starts the lap as the leader. Can he hold on until the end of the lap? Up the hill they go. The, the time, traffic's still ahead of them. The time's now for Hack. He's going to have to realise these leaders are coming through and just try and concede the line somewhere because he's been closed on gradually. This could be a factor now going into one of the more technical parts of the track. This oh. could really bunch them up. Yeah, There's this Hacker. is... Oh, and yeah, there he goes. He let's let's them go. Well, 
That's, it's good, but it's uh, it's an awkward place to let them through, and I think he's going to get a bit mugged there. Yeah, I'd stick it to the outside of Ozias. Lucas Ellingham, though, he is still under pressure here. Olivier Algieri is closing. Ellingham's going to have to go super defensive into the boot. Does Algieri have the switch back Got in the back. boot? He's going to try and tuck his nose over, oh. but Ellingham's going to be wise to it. Behind them, it's all Bedlam trying to decide the rest of the positions, but Lucas Ellingham will take the win ahead of Olivier Algieri. Lorenzo Cordal gets the last podium position. Christian Brooks in fourth, fifth for Jude Fernhoff. Finley Harrison lost out towards the end there. The gap across the line three one hundredths of a second between Elegam and Algieri are you not entertained ladies and gentlemen Sam Baker uh, excuse me Alex Johnston in seventh Sam Baker in eighth Rita Kamata in ninth tenth was Vinnie Lloyd Chamberlain